Hi, my name is Megan Lanius and my partner is Charlie Geyer. We will be showing you all how to fill out form 6B, the human invertebrate animal tissue form. This form is not required for everyone, only those who are using fresh or frozen tissue, blood, blood products, or body fluids. If your research project involves living organisms, please ensure that the proper human or animal forms are completed. All research using any of the tissues listed above must also complete Form 6A. At the top of Form 6B, students must fill out their name or if it is a group project, all the students involved should list their names. Then students will fill out the whole title of the project. Next, the student or students will fill out question one, answering the question, what vertebrate animal tissue will be used in this study? A project is considered a tissue study and not a vertebrate animal study if the tissue was obtained from an animal that was euthanized for a purpose other than the student's project. Now, let's hear from Charlie. Thanks, Megan. Question two refers back to the first question that Megan just walked us through. For any type of animal tissue that was checked in question one, you will then identify where it was obtained for question two. Page 16 from the ICEF Rules Handbook provides more details about this. For example, you can write that the established cell lines followed by the corresponding catalog number were sourced from the American Type Culture Collection. Be sure to do this for all types of tissues you will be using in your project. If you only select one type but have multiple samples, include that information too. For example, if you are using two types of body fluid like saliva and tears, you will need to identify the source for each body fluid. For question three, the acronym IACUC is referenced. This is the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee. If your human slash vertebrate animal tissue is obtained from a vertebrate animal study conducted at a research institution, you need to attach the IACUC certification. This certification must identify the name of the research institution, the title of the study, the IACUC approval number, and a letter of IACUC approval. Page 16 of the ICEF Rules Handbook goes into more detail about this. Keep in mind that if your human slash vertebrate animal tissue is obtained from a vertebrate animal study conducted at a research institution, you must get all this approval from IACUC before starting any research. If your tissue is not obtained from a study conducted at a research institution, you need not answer this question. Now, Megan is going to walk you through the second part of Form 6B. Thanks, Charlie. The last section is to be completed by the qualified scientist or designated supervisor. Student researchers do not need to fill this section out of the form. And that's all we have for you on Form 6B. Have fun, be safe, and good luck.